Hey, welcome to Color Up Poker. Today I'm with one of my favorite poker YouTubers, Sean Potato Poker. Hey, what's up? And today is 108 of my journey. I am going to venture out a little bit, so a little bit out of my comfort zone. Sean's gonna give me a little bit of pre-game coaching, strategy, um, and hopefully help me out. So let's see what happens. We start the day at the Peppermill Casino. I didn't film, but Potato Poker shared his footage for this one hand we were involved in together. I'm under the gun and have queens. I open to $11. It folds around to Potato, who raises to $35, and another player makes the call. I need to 3-bet this, and I slide a stack in for another $100. Potato Poker makes it $200. Gets the other player out of the way and isolates me. I think I'm in the lead here against him, as he has a wider range. Plus, I only have about $70 left. I make the call. All right, you want him up? Thank you, sir. All right. We turn them over, and he has ace, king of hearts. I've got to sweat this one out. Here we go. Hold. good so far. Hold. Still holding. And I survive. Thanks for the double up, Mr. Potato Poker. So I'm back here at the GSR, my home turf. I didn't film inside the pepper mill. I played ultra tight. I only got involved, I was basically car dead for multiple hours, only got involved with a couple of hands, and I ended up up $160. So Pepper Mill went well. Now we're gonna see if things go just as well here at the GSR, so let's check it out. King, two of spades, one limp. I just go with $6, my hand isn't that strong. Everyone calls, we go six ways to the flop, which is fine if I get some spades. Great flop. Our flush draw is looking good. It checks to me, I make it $15. Two players make the call. 10 on the turn, we now have the nut straight draw as well. It checks to me, I check. I think I should have bet with so many options with my hand. River is a king of diamond. Straight and flush missed, I now have top pair but with the weakest possible kicker. And now the diamonds may have also got there. Checks to me and I check just hoping to get to showdown. Behind me checks, and my kings are good. Sweet. Jackson late position, two players limp in, so I make it $15. Small blind and early limper comes along to the flop. Rainbow flop with no over cards. Checks to me, I try to calculate the pot size and continue with a $25 bet. Small blind calls again and limper resigns. Turn is a queen of spade. It checks to me. I'm still afraid of people trapping, so I just check behind when a better move would likely be to keep barreling. I don't know. River is another queen. Player bets out for 15. Smallish bet. Could be for value, but easy call. I show the jacks. He mucks, but tosses his cards, and slow-mo playback shows that he has the 10-2 of spades. Is that how things go on Friday nights? Invest that much money on bottom pair with no draws? Wow. I just finished stacking my chips and a new dealer sends me the queens. Button has straddled for $6, two players call, I bump it up to $15 in later position, cut off button and early position make the call and we go four ways to the flop. Another rainbow flop with all undercards. Check. I bet for a 30, two players make the call. Turn is a two of club, harmless. Check. It's a sizable pot, I can't total it in my head, but a $100 bet should be okay. I really don't want to see an overcard on the river at this point. Both players lay it down and I scoop up back to back pots. Let's go. <laughs> King Jack of Diamond. I'm under the gun. I just opened a $6. Four players call and I'm now in the worst position. Flop comes Queen, Eight, Six, Rainbow. I didn't get a piece of this flop. I check and a player makes it $15. Just not a battle I want to get involved with and I lay it down. I'm in the big blind with ace king suited. Under the gun opens to $6 and three players call. I know I need to size up here with my three bet and make it $27. Original razor calls and we go heads up to the flop. All right, top pair, top kicker. I think pot is about $70 and I wanna do about three quarters pot. I make it $50 and it was too much, I guess. Player folds and I scoop. Back in the big blind with ace six of hearts. Five players limp, I add $15 more to try and thin the herd. Unfortunately, four players with $2 limps also call the $15 raise. And five players see the flop. Eight, king, six, no hearts. We have bottom pair. 
It checks around, player makes it $45, and it's time to bow out of this one. Next hand, I have tens in the small blind. Middle position raises to $15. Let's see a flop. I call along with three others. Ugh. Now I need a set with this many players, I think. I'm first to act, so I want to see where I stand. I check, and it checks through. Turn is a four of club. Hmm, I likely have top pair. Should I bet? Probably. I check again, though. Okay. Player bets $21. I fold like a coward. <laughs> FYI, the river was another 10. I really need to learn the math of when it is profitable to call. I really didn't get involved with much after this. I just observed. The hands these weekend players were showing up with at Showdown was shocking to me. There is definitely money to be made here, I think. All right, that's day 108 in the books. And here at the GSR, I finished up, actually. Uh, up 160, the exact same amount that I won at the Pepper Mill. So it was a good day. It feels really good to win. Obviously, uh, it's always better feeling when you win than lose, but I felt pretty confident. I played tight at the Pepper Mill. I played a little more aggressive than I ever have before here at the GSR, and it paid off. I did get some cards, and so that worked out. But it's always nice to win and um, have a good time. So I'm not sure how our potato poker fared. I'll have to check in on him. But uh, overall, 108, good day. Um, I'll have to put my totals up on the screen. But today, so up 320 for today. All right, until next time, see you later.